If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the uh, Team of the Season Moment C Soko to check out. Uh, with this card, guys, he's six foot two, medium high work rates, right footed, three star skill, three star weak foot. Uh, for the review accounts, we actually ended up packing this guy in the 10 coin pack, which was uh, a W to be honest, because I actually needed uh, a League One French player with a medium high work rate just for future reviews, because I personally don't like having a CDM that's like a Tudom only, you know what I'm saying? Like I need to have one medium high. For me personally, it just works out the best. So it's great that we have him now. Uh, just in case I need that. But yeah, player traits in game. This card has the solid player traits. In-game attributes. We're not going to be testing this card out in the attacking areas because who cares? You know, it's it's mostly just going to be about build-up play, right? If he gets involved in the build-up play, as well as defensive capabilities. Because here's the thing with this card, right? So obviously with FIFA nowadays, uh, we have the lengthy meta, right? So with the lengthy meta being a thing, this card for 83.5k on a shadow chemistry style being your, you know, either main CDM or CDM in a two midfield setup is definitely going to be a very ideal situation. Why? Because 89 for acceleration and a 99 for sprint speed is formatted very nicely for you to either use him in the CDM position or as a center back if you switch to a five back formation, right? Shooting on the card is going to be in a good area for the shot power department. I'm guessing that's more for heading capabilities if you do get into those types of situations. Uh, passing, also going to be in a very good area. Take into consideration that he does have a three-star weak foot. For, so, so for consistency on the passes and the buildup, it could affect the card, obviously. Uh, dribbling. So his agility and balance is on the lower side. So again, this is a card that you have to use mainly in a defensive way, obviously. Uh, Shadow Chemistry Style will be putting the defensive stats to be in a fantastic area. And then for physical, he's also going to be in a good area, except for the jumping on the card, right? So we're going to see how his six foot two height unique body type works with all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we'll be using him in the CDM position in this new 4-3-3 that I will be doing a review for in the future. So yeah, we'll see how he plays, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, no block there. You just, you kind of have to hope at that point. That should be mine. Oh, sometimes it deflects off of them. Oh, see Soko. Let's go, man. Never a foul, EA. Reward the manual defending in this game, man. Never, bro. I defend so well there. Oh, let's go again. Nice. Oh, the pass off. Oh, dribbling is rough to work with afterwards, though. Three goals without reply. Is it a foul? Oh, I fouled him. Well, it's good to foul him on the kickoff, to be honest. Get rid of it as, as much as possible. Let's go see Soko. Oh, come on, man. That would have been such a good play. Come on, bruh. Thank you, Sissoko. All good. good pressure. Can they make something of this? Yeah, I just need that one drag touch. 
that's that's like beginning of fifa of fifa 23 right there just get that one drag touch first time strike oh man i remember saying that in the tactic videos Bro, see, Soko has been like incredible, honestly. Seemed to switch off for a moment, and now a throw in. Well, that shouldn't really happen from a throw in. Oh, my goodness, the right stick switching it pushes the ball. Guys, Jonathan David's been impressing me so far. Nice job, Sissoko. No, oh, man. Kickoff is crazy. So get it, though. Ooh, that pass was horrible. That's a driven pass right there. so good what a pass man well done that pass was horrible again that's the weak foot again Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go. We saw go again. Oh, come on. Give me it. There we go. It's not really his fault. It's just the manual defending in this game is weird. that quick I'm not sure why he backs up there but possession based challenge I'll get I'll take it thank you what to say, guys, like manual defending for you, huh? Beautiful goal. Let's go, boys. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. Thank you. Love the lengthy on him. Okay, pass by Sissoko there. We'll take it. No, reward me, man. Come on. Yeah, but the AI gets it for me.
Oh, just collect him, man. Thank you. Isoko does well to intercept that. Nice, let's go, boys. Well done, well done. No. Yes, no. All oh, the manual defending in this game, and I can't. Medina, you beast. Thank you, Sissoko. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on the new Team of the Season Moment Sissoko card. So, guys, listen. If you're looking for a player to defend like a monster for you in the CDM position, Sissoko is very, very solid. Like, he's actually very, very good. Um, again, with the lengthy meta being changed or, or changing the way that this game is played nowadays, making this card a lengthy on a shadow chemistry style makes him a very, very solid defensive player, okay? Because I was using him in this new 4-3-3 formation that we will be doing a review for in the future, and he was being used as the lone CDM, okay? And he was beasting it for me, okay? Now, obviously, what are the problems with the card? Now, it's always nice to have players that can help you up in the buildup, but who cares? He's a CDM. You have to have a player that's going to be that brick wall in that area, which, to be honest with you, he actually was for me, right? The agility balance of the card when it comes to the build up with a three star weak foot, like those three things, it's going to affect the card because even if you have these cards on stay back while attacking, they still commit a little bit on the attack because they have to help you out with the build up in the midfield, right? But that's as far as it gets in regards to how he feels in regards to like not necessarily being the greatest stats, right? The build up and whatever. But again, who cares? You have to use his card in a defensive way, which he's very, very good at. Like I said, if you're using him in the CDM position or the center back position, in that five back area, you're good to go. He has very good defensive capabilities, right? Obviously, with the jumping being at a 76, that'll affect the card from time to time as well when it comes to like goal kicks and all that kind of stuff, right? But to be fair, he actually compensates in an okay way because of the fact that he has a six foot two height with a unique body type as well. So here's the thing, man. If this is an SBC for 83k, I would actually tell you guys to unlock it because it's actually incredible fair, uh, incredibly fair value in game for being a French player in League One that will provide you a really, really good defensive presence in that midfield. Like they actually did a very good job with this card, in my opinion. Like he was, he was doing a very good job for me. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.